Hello. Um, today we got a new trailer. It's one I didn't plan to react to because I'm just not the biggest um, like Jack Ryan fan because this, um, without remorse, is part of the Jack Ryan universe. It's based on a book written by Tom Clancy. And needless to say, I don't know much about Jack Ryan. I haven't seen the John Krasinski show yet. It's on my watch list. Um, I've only seen The Hunt for Red October. I haven't seen any of the other movies. Um, so I don't know very much about it. But I, I haven't seen it yet. I kept hearing that the trailer was really, really good. So I wanted to check it out. So I thought I'd do a reaction. Because why not? Um, but we'll see. Okay, so let's just start it. I don't know what else to say. Also, this is interesting enough. It was produced for Paramount. Uh, it was produced by Paramount, but they sold it to Prime Video. It was one of the movies like Coming to America, well, Coming to America 2, um, that was sold off to Amazon Prime. I'm really hoping they don't do that with the other movies. Like, I'd hate if Top Gun went or A Quiet Place Part 2. I don't think they will, but it's possible. Uh, but anyways, this is Michael B. Jordan's Without Remorse. Let's check it out. We know Senior Chief Kelly is the third member to be attacked. Three perps are dead. Huh, this looks interesting. Also killed was his wife. Kind of looks a little bit like hope he doesn't John survive. Wick with more political. Why is that? He is like more dangerous and effective aspects. than any man we have in the field. These were foreign attacks on U.S. soil. We have to respond. I'm gonna make it right. There's something inside of me that, that I can't turn off. A part of me that won't stop for anything. No remorse. occurred to you that perhaps John Kelly has done something we can't. Some situations warrant thinking outside the box. Give me a name. He was supposed to be dead. Give me a name. April 30th. Huh. The title will get up there. Wow. I actually am interested. I'm interested now. Didn't think I would be. Because, of course, I haven't seen anything. But this looks really good. It looks like... Like, you know, the general, like, political thrillers. Um... I lagged out a bit there. Um, the political thrillers like, well, Hunt for Red October and stuff, and kind of like Jason Bourne sort of tone, um, but with a John Wick kind of storyline, which I think is really interesting. It's a nice blend, and maybe a John Wick kind of story with more plot to it. That would be nice. Um, no, I'm really interested in that. That looks pretty good. I'll definitely check that out, and it's on Prime, so free. Um, yeah, that looks great. I don't really have anything more to say about it. I don't know too much. Maybe I'll go back and watch all the Jack Ryan movies. Um, yeah. Also, I just wanted to note, this weekend coming up, the weekend of March um, 5th, is a big weekend for movies. It's like a regular movie weekend. We got Ryan, Disney's Ryan the Last Dragon coming out in theaters and on Disney Plus on Friday. We have Lionsgate, I think it's producing, Lionsgate's Chaos Walking, which is Tom Holland's new movie. It's 
probably going to be a flop. They've been sitting on it for about three years and not releasing it. It's not supposed to be good. I checked Rotten Tomatoes just before this. I think it's at a 17%. So that's not great. Um, and then we have Coming to America, Eddie Murphy's sequel, which is also coming to Amazon Prime. So it's a big weekend. And the finale of WandaVision, which I'm most excited for. Um, but it's a big weekend for the movies. So I'm really excited. I, I wish I could see all these in theaters. Unfortunately, theaters are closed where I live. But I'm going to try and watch them all somehow. Anyways, thanks for watching with me. And I'll be sure to post more reactions whenever trailers come out. Hopefully soon.